Hi, this is Tim Williams, your Peninsula College Instruction and Reference Librarian. This guide will help you locate reliable, accurate, current information about economic statistics related to the following aspects of the economy. Spending, economic sectors, demographics, population, and household information. I'm going to take you through um, a couple of the really prominent websites for providing such information. Uh, namely the Department of Labor's homepage um, for the Consumer Expenditure Survey. We'll look at that a little bit later. We're going to start off by looking at the census portal um, created by the U.S. Department of Commerce. Um, so there are different kinds of census. There's the regular census comes out every 10 years, but then there's also an economic census which happens every five years. Uh, good news, we just finished a census year in 2012. The bad news is we won't have that information until the U.S. Department of Commerce processes it. So it's going to be around December before that information starts coming out. Until then, uh, for current statistics, we're going to have to look at the regular census and the, the economic and business data provided through that. Um, but then we do have some other options to, to sort of find current and reliable information until the economic census information comes out. So, starting off on the Department of Commerce Census Bureau portal, I want to click over here under Data by Sector to just give you a little overview of how much work the Department of Commerce does in terms of providing information. So let's click on Economy Wide. And here you see a list of publications by the Department of uh, Commerce. You see that they put out quarterly workforce indicators, and then you see the contents. So it might be worth it to start when you're looking for business information or you're looking for whether it's national, local, regional. Um, it might be a good place to start here to look at these different links and then to look at the contents to see what the different um, websites offer in terms of statistics and content. We are going to be looking at a lot of these today. Um, definitely looking at the county business patterns. We'll look a little bit at the <clears throat> economic census, even though we don't have that current information coming out. Um, I'll do a more detailed guide uh, probably a year from now when we have that information uh, after December 2013. But let's go back to the business and industry page. And we will get started by looking at some national um, information. So we'll start with the economic indicators. If you look at those over here. And the economic indicators are a great place to start when you hear on the news, um, oh, the economy has a slow recovery going on. This will actually provide some evidence uh, of that. So you can look here and confirm for yourself whether or not the economy is recovering, if it's recovering slowly, etc. So each one of these wide rectangles represents a sector of the economy. Uh, so you see international trade, wholesale trade, manufacturing, construction, residential sales. And then if you look at the right hand side you see current growth or decline and then what happened in the previous month. So this is a really helpful place to start to get an overview of the national economy in terms of how it's growing or how it's shrinking. And you can also get um, sort of a more in-depth look if you click on indicator databases or click on this funky black and white graph here. You get a bunch of tables or time series and trend charts. So I'd like to know what's going on with new home sales. Let's check, take a look at that just as an example of all these tables in here and what kind of information they provide. Okay, so you're going to get some drop downs, drop down menus here to look at. And I do want new home sales, so I'm going to stick with that. The date range is just a little too broad. 1963 is going way back. So I'll go just before the housing decline, go 2006 to 2013. Under industry or category, I'm going to look at new single family houses sold. You can also see how many are for sale, but I'm going to look at how many have been sold in that time frame. All houses and then you also want to select which geographic region. So of course I'm going to do the West. 
you have to check one of these boxes, not seasonally adjusted, and then you want to make sure you click on get data. And then I'll update this uh, down here. So there you can see month by month breakdown over this time period how in the number of thousands home sales have decreased. Look at that, 26,000 in January of 2006, 5,000 in January of 2012. Pretty staggering difference there. But you do see through 2012 and compared with 2011, uh, consistent slight increase in the number of new homes sold. So that is a good sign for the economy and for that particular sector of it. Okay. Let's go back to the business and industry page one more time. And let's take a look at some local information. You can actually zero in from the national big picture of the economy to look at some more local, regional, state, and citywide information. So all I did right there, I clicked on 2012 Economic Census. And then if you look up in the top, sort of in the middle of the screen, you'll see Industry and Local Business Statistics. And you'll see that tab turn from blue to orange. So if you click on that, you see this really cool uh, graphic. And you can get local business snapshots by metropolitan area or by state. Let's look at the state first. And then we'll take a look at the Seattle-Tacoma metro area. So let's go down to Washington in the drop-down. And then be sure to click on Go. You get a really nice snapshot of the Washington economy. There you see by county the breakdown of wholesale businesses as of the 2007 economic census. So it's not exactly the most current information, but that's the best that we have until December 2013 when the new census data comes out. And there you see a breakdown of the performance of each sector of the economy in the state and you see different graphical representations of those sectors performance. So it's a nice short and sweet little presentation of the Washington economy. You can also do that for the Seattle Tacoma metropolitan area. If you come back, just click back on the browser and then come down to Seattle on the list of metropolitan areas. And then you'll see in the next screen there's another tiny little version of what you just saw uh, that, that PDF. So just click on that picture below Seattle Tacoma Bellevue and it'll enlarge. Or you could have clicked on View Full Screen. And there you see those that three county area. Similar breakdown of information and the presence of certain economic uh, sectors in those areas. Very handy information. Now let's uh, zero in on counties. So if you look here, just click back on the browser again to get to this page that you're on before you looked at the Seattle Tacoma um, snapshot. And we're going to click on state and county quick facts. This gives you kind of a breakdown of uh, different aspects of not only the economy but demographic information. So you get some information about uh, overall population, and this is for Seattle and Washington. You get demographic information for different ethnic groups by age, some homeowner and housing information, some economic information, poverty level, and there you get some business quick facts. These are pretty helpful too, um, especially for Seattle and for Washington State. When we zero in on Port Angeles, you're going to see a lot of letters, so you're going to see some omitted statistics that aren't as helpful. But we'll get into something called American Fact Finder later that will help you get more specific statistics for Clallam County and for Port Angeles. And you can click on Port Angeles under the drop-down up here if you want to see that information from the 2010 census. But again, it's not going to be as helpful as going into American Fact Finder. So there you see Port Angeles. You see some of that demographic information, some education information there of the overall population. And there, as, you, as I said, a lot of the business and 
financial information there, or the economic information there is omitted. And you'll see explanations of those omissions down here at the bottom of the legend. So from here, let's go into American Fact Finder really quickly. It can be a scary place. Uh, I'll be your candle in the dark. <laughs> um, I just clicked up at the top under data and found American Fact Finder. And here you get this kind of scary database looking thing. I'm going to make it not so scary by pointing you to geographies on the left hand side. Let's just go there. You could also choose a race and ethnic group or an industry code if you want to go into the data sets from a different angle. But I'm just going to make this simple. We're going to focus on Clallam County. Um, so you go by county for the geographic type. And then under state, of course, we're going to go to Washington. You knew that. And then Clallam County. There it is. Add to your selections. Once it is finished loading, we'll be able to close that search screen, the small rectangle in the middle of the screen, if the table finishes loading. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little while. So we'll close this little triangle, or this little rectangle in the middle of the screen. And there you see we have numerous pages of information related to Clallam County. And you'll see 2011 ACS one-year estimates. That refers to the American Community Survey. So there you see selected social characteristics in the United States. Well, if you want social information, by all means, take a look at that. Um, but here you'll see the 2011 ACS one-year estimates selected economic characteristics. Let's take a look at that. And then feel free to browse um, all these pages for Clallam County because there's a lot of really good information here that I'll cover more in depth when we get some updated census information. Well, let's look at this selected economic characteristics table really quickly. And there you'll see a lot of really good employment information, uh, information in terms of commute, occupation, industry, income and benefits. This is all really, really helpful information. Um, for business owners, people who are thinking about starting a business, health insurance coverage, very, very good information. And you can see that it is from the American Community Survey 2011. So you know it's current and it's local. It's Clallam County, Washington. Okay, last but not least, I want to take you away from the U.S. Census Bureau portal and look really briefly at the Department of Labor's Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, consumer expenditure survey site. Uh, this is again uh, scaling back a little bit. It doesn't provide as much local information. It's more of a national big picture uh, for certain aspects of the economy, certain aspects of spending. So if you look under announcements, they update it from time to time with some really, really good uh, visual representations of a specific aspect of economic performance. This one, travel expenditures from 2005 to 2011 really really helpful for businesses related to travel. So you see a really nice brochure here. Get a little summary of what the brochure is going to look at, certain economic performance. And there you see a table uh, with uh, how much spending there was between 2005 and 2011. Itemized breakdown of that spending. Very very helpful information. So I invite you to come back and look at that. Um, another really, really specific uh, uh, chart or publication here, Wife's Employment and Allocation of Resources in Families with Children. You might kind of laugh at that and think, wow, that's really specific, or you know, why are they, why are they looking at this information? Certain businesses uh, might really benefit from that kind of information about um, you know, wives and their employment and how they spend their money. So that's, that's worth taking a look at. Um, so I invite you to come check out Consumer Expenditure Survey, check out the census and a lot of its great uh, information there. If you have any questions, come see me, Tim Williams, in the Peninsula College Library. Uh, feel free to email me at twilliams at pencall.edu or call me at 417-6285. Thanks a lot.